September 26, 2019 was a beautiful fall day. We drove from Vancouver to Chilliwack to visit Salish Wesley. Now I invite you to meet Salish. This is actually my traditional territory. I am Stalo and we are upon Stalo territory here in the Fraser Valley. I spent many of my formative childhood years growing up at my mother, grandmother's log cabin. Those years were my most safe years, my fun years as a child because when you're with your grandmother, for me anyways, it was, um, I was absolutely allowed to be authentically me. I'm naturally a free spirit, so especially as a child, I was extremely um, caught up in anything that made me happy. So in a way, in a dramatic way, I was, it was like it was Christmas morning for me all the time, especially at my grandmother's eating her food, her homemade bread, her bannock, her smoked salmon, her fish soup, it just was the, I was very fortunate to have that experience. And there was a program that UBC offered and it was called the Native Indian Teacher Education Program. It's now referred to as the Native Indigenous Teacher Education Program. I'm grateful that things happened the way they did because teaching is certainly a calling that I wasn't even aware of. And it was just the title and because for me I always felt like a dumb Indian. I guess the um, residential schooling did its number and you know I'm a second generation survivor. Because I'm Aboriginal, because I have you know different conditions like I am trans, so my cards were very limited. I had no clue how I was going to become who I am now. And I had no clue that I had the very right to dream. All I wanted to do was live and survive. Um, but this whole journey <laughs> has made things accessible for me. So. What I mean to say is I've come to terms with myself, my identity. I have um, stood up as a citizen who has the right to belong and owned my own destiny.